Welcome back. I'm Pastor Cat. This is your weekly encouragement. So our topic for the day is listening. This can be fairly difficult for some of you. It definitely is for me. I speak for a living, and so it becomes fairly difficult for me to consider when I should speak and when I shouldn't, when I should listen and when I should interject. And James actually has a very interesting take on it that I found encouraging this week, so I thought I would share it with you. James chapter one, we're starting at verse nine, we'll go all the way through 25, but just the first verse to launch us in. This you know, my beloved brethren, but everyone must be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to answer. Anger. A couple of things right here. One is that we are being encouraged to be very quick to hear and slower to speak. I've already mentioned that that can be difficult. I know that it is for me. Well, I have an opinion for a reason, and that's because I believe it, right? If I didn't believe it, then my opinion would change. So I am very quick to want to interject exactly what it is I'm thinking and why. But here we're encouraged to actually listen to what others are saying first. This is very important if you are a parent or a friend, or if you're in any kind of relationship, or if you have a job, or if you go to school, or if you're in the grocery. Uh, okay, it, it's important basically everywhere we go, but it gets even greater than that because he ends with also being slow to anger. And these two things do tie together. Let's continue on in verse 20. For the anger of man does not achieve the righteousness of God, therefore putting aside all filthiness and all that remains of wickedness in humility, receive the word implanted, which is able to save your souls. Here we're reminded that we're not listening just as a technique so that we can turn and attack or have greater influence on the person speaking. If you're like me, you've probably done that before where someone is speaking and you're not necessarily in agreement and you grab that thing that they said, waiting for your moment to where you can speak again so you can attack them with the thing they just said. Here we're reminded that the process of us listening and being slow to anger is actually a healthy thing for us. It actually lets the word of God influences who we are as opposed to us trying to force our influence on someone else. He goes on with this thought actually. Typically when this passage is taught, people kind of stop right here. But I think the next couple of verses actually are the real, um, I, don't, I don't know, result of living this way, starting at verse 22. Prove yourselves doer of the word and not merely hearers who delude themselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he's like a man who looks at his natural face in a mirror. For once he has looked at himself and he's gone away, he has immediately forgotten what kind of person he was. But one who looks intently at the perfect law, the law of liberty, and abides in it, not having become a forgetful hearer, but an effectual doer, this man will be blessed in what he does. You know, it's really easy to respond in anger when we hear something we don't like. But our position in Christ is actually much different than that. We are not only supposed to hear what others are saying, but what God himself has said to us in the past through the word of God or through the Holy Spirit. Then, once we've heard it and we've responded not in anger, but actually with an open heart and an open mind, we're then to take that and become doers of the word. You know, right now it's a trying time uh, here in the United States with a lot of protests happening. And, and it is important to realize that no matter what is happening, we need to listen, be hearers of the word of people so that we can then turn and become doers actual ambassadors for Christ. So no matter where you live, no matter whether COVID-19 has you in lockdown or not, no matter what's going on in your life, if you were listening and letting the word of God influence you, you can be a doer of the word and make your little community, whatever that may be, a little bit better this week. Well, I hope this has been as encouraging for you as it has been for me. I'll see you right back here again next week. Be encouraged.